it's informal cooking again in informal cooking you are not obliged to follow certain procedures or protocol but it doesn't delimit you to follow of course if there are written codes and recipes where you can follow please do follow mine is just random whatever comes my way i am cooking and right now i think we're just going to mix all these vegetables and for the information of everybody these are my harvest tonight so this is our malabar spinach or actually alubati in our local dialect and i normally eat this in the province and today i pruned first time first time i pruned the alubati plant that i had there in the in the garden so wow it is healthy it is growing from seed seeds there are plenty of seeds that grew and this is our sweet potato vine only few of it we took and then this is ipomaya aquatica or kangkong and this is uh, these are the blossoms of the squash and these are the young um, the vines of the squash that I removed because I consider it potter sprouts just to take note some of it I already uh, cleansed I mean I removed the outer skin because perhaps it would cause allergy if you're going to eat the entire thing so uh, especially the feathery thing but this one these are already very young so um, that is going to become negligible when you are going to eat it. And our moringa. I preserved this moringa two days ago and what I did was okay, like the olden times whenever we are buying moringa because I don't know at some point in our land it's very seldom that moringa thrives so someone from far far away is delivering moringa to our place and that is like on a weekly basis and for us to be able to preserve the moringa leaves we need to put it in a pot or any receptacle which ha can hold water and then from it it's like a, a flower base <laughs> i mean the moringa leaves became like uh, being decorated in a flower base and it will last for a week for a week if you are going to just put some water and the the scenario is normally the the water when you are going to just be kept there for a long time it will smell bad so the tendency is the leaves also will wilt so the technique is you have to replace the water um, daily on a daily basis so I'm going to replace this water a little bit later because the last time that I replaced was last night so I think my vegetable mix tonight will be dominated with vegetables too much leaves and we'll add tomato on it this time I purchased this tomato and chili I purchased this one so I haven't successfully growing um, tomato so far uh, I remember yeah I successfully grew tomato but only like the first time the second time around it didn't succeed and we have to add the sweet potato itself and the garlic and the onion here and I just need to wash all these ingredients thoroughly first up i have added the sweet potato itself and i'd like it to melt so that our soup will be meaty I and mean, creamy i have added the tomato onion chili and garlic and the national food of everybody <laughs> sardines i have to put sardines on it and i have added everything just everything it looks very fresh the aroma is inviting oh 
It means it is cooked. Finished. I can smell the provincial smell, which I really miss. Perfect. Thank you guys.